What have we got? William is always counting money and make sure he gets the most out of it. He haggled with a merchant over some sweetmeats until the merchant laughed with frustration and handed over the sweetmeats for a lot less than he'd asked for. That's good. 75% chance of getting zealous. That's not good. Charitable. Charitable give him higher diplomacy. Is he going to be a diplomat or a steward? He has to decide. Um... What's that? 75% chance of getting the trait greedy, but he gains two stewardship. And he might not get it. He might get charitable instead. Ah, to hell with it. Oh, damn, son. Damn. Why? My best son. My best, best son. Is an illegitimate bastard. This is why I love and hate this game. <laughs> it just tries to drive you nuts. Okay, how's Bernard doing? He's pretty shit. Catelyn? She's doing okay, she's doing okay, and how is Anne? Is it Anne? Yes, it is Anne. Legitimized bastard. Genius. Yeah. Yeah. C'est la vie. C'est la vie. You're 15. You're going to get married to this lady. Hopefully. You're betrothed normally, so hopefully she won't flip that around, but I will be definitely watching that very carefully, because I don't want to accidentally marry my heir off matrilineally, because then I lose, under my own house rules of no swapping to a... Uh, if you die without issue, you can swap to another person in your dynasty, but I'm not going to do that. If I lose, I lose. Um... I am really, really annoyed that my best son is the illegitimate bastard. Because I would kill Nathaniel off in a heartbeat. Damn. He's got, like, all the virtues except chaste. So he's got all the ones that matter. And I'm pretty sure because I'm tutoring him, he'll get Midas Touch as well. He will be very, very good at his job. Would you die already? Actually, speaking of dying, how's the wife? She's not happy. Can I kill her? See her dead. I could. Let's have a look at that. Say I wanted her dead. Emma would help me. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Would she help me because she's my lover? I guess so. Yeah. I can ask my daughter. She likes her mother too much. You would help. I wonder why you don't like her. I don't know, but I'm willing to take your assistance. Um... Wow, pretty much all my vassals think she's a bitch. And Eleanor, who are you? Oh, you're the celibate lady. Why do you not like her? That's strange. I don't know. What about Maud? We used to be friends. She might just need a little bit of money. So do I have a child to give you to educate? Uh, Mary is my daughter. She's being educated by Baron Hugh, so no. You're just a courtier. I can't do anything like that. How much do you want? You want 20 gold. You don't? No, not yet. Um, would you please stop doing that? Oh, he's considering a plot offer from us. Look, wife. Seriously, stop it. I will kill you off. I'm planning to kill you off. I hope I can kill you off. My liege. Mercy is endless. Wisdom and mercy are legendary. 
May you live in harmony and contentment. Peace be with you. Blessings upon ye and your house. May you live in harmony and contentment. I accept your demand. Stop it. Okay, she is depressed. Hopefully she will die quickly. Uh, 138%. Yes, this is good. Um, Richard won't help me because of moral qualms. You won't help me because of moral qualms. You might help me if I offered you enough money. You want to be the... St oh, you want to improve stewardship. Yeah. I'm just not going to worry about that. You, however, would you please stop trying to kill me? I don't like it. No, I will not ask you to stop being in my own plot. Oh, right, he's my spy master. That's why William was able to almost kill me before. If you get somebody's spy master on your side, they improve your ability to kill them so much. I will no longer back that plot. Good. Oi, Will. Sod off. No base reluctance. Can I send you... I could send you a gift, and it would make you only a little bit more happy with me. Maybe I'll give you one of my children to look after. That might help. Okay. Nathaniel de Harcourt is now of legal age. He became a Midas Touch. He did pretty well. Stop it. Okay. Unlanded son. Can't do anything about that. Unmarried heir. Can do something about that. Want you to marry like that. Base reluctance, but you'll still say yes. I didn't tick matrilineal, so it should be normal marriage, shouldn't it? Come on, come on, come on. Give me that normal marriage. They will occasionally rebuff it and try to get you to accept a matrilineal one. Always read it carefully. Yes! Ha 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 ha. Nathaniel and Countess Adele have gotten married. You can collect a royal aid duty to pay for it. People respect wealth versus yes, it is everyone's concern. We've got enough prestige. We want the money. Thank you. Nice. Okay, so he's going to go live over there with her, but that's fine. As long as they have kids, they'll be of his dynasty. Yeah, regular marriage. Any children born of the Union will be of the father's dynasty, and his dynasty is de Harcourt. Mm-hmm. 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 I like it. So, Count Nathaniel of Eu is the son who's going to inherit everything. Lovely. Just lovely. Nathaniel de Harcourt has become steward for Adele de Normandy. That's good. That'll probably increase how well he does his job when he becomes Count <clears throat> and Count proper, not Count of you. That'll be nice to have command of it because oh, look at those levies. Look at those levies. But that's the thing about this game. You have to plan everything a few generations ahead. So, they're married. <clears throat> But next we'll be in control of him, and technically she'll still be an in in technically she will be an independent ruler, independent of us. She doesn't have to take our commands, but her daughter, or son, or whoever it is, will. All she needs to do is have a child. Okay, so we'll speed up time again. Hopefully we'll get an opportunity to kill somebody, and in. The in September, my liege, I write to you with bad news from Mortain. Are you serious? You idiot. We're going to have to have a hunt. Go on a grand hunt. I will find the white stag. Oh, hang on. Wait, what? Legitimize William de Harcourt. Has a piety of at least... Ooh. 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 But that'll annoy everybody else. But... It would put him in line of... God damn it. If only I had noticed that before. 
If only I had noticed that before. What does it cost? Nothing. It costs nothing. And it'll make her... It'll pretty much just make people not like me. I can live with that. How long have I got to make my choice? He's only 14. He's 14. So... Damn. Damn, 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 damn. He's a bastard. He was born out of wedlock and has not been legitimized and is thus disqualified from the line of succession. If he's legitimate... He takes place of preference over Bernard. Doesn't he? Yes, he does. He'll still have that diplomacy penalty. I'm going to decide after the hunt. <laughs> We're going on a hunt to decide whether or not we legitimize him. A legitimate bastard. That could be good. That could be very good. Okay. One of four options will happen. 60% nothing happens. Wounded, maimed, or I die. Maybe it's better to run. No. I've been injured badly. I gained the wounded trait. You idiot. Um, I'm already diligent, aren't I? Yes. I think my horse has a limp. I don't care what it is. We'll hunt it. Let's just do that. Damn. Okay. I'm going to legitimize him. I've got... 47 piety. I'm going to legitimize him. Done. Grand hunt is over for now. Gain 10 prestige. Done. Well, legitimized bastard. He still has that problem, but now he's in the line for succession. I think. Yeah, he's second in line. Could be a lot worse. Nice. I know that, for all intents and purposes, that doesn't really have that much of an effect, but it makes me happy. <laughs> Knowing that he's not, you know, a bastard now. Amelia de Harcourt, you are not old enough. Mary is being tutored. Bernard. And so many children. One child lacks a guardian. Amelia de Harcourt. Okay, let's see. Who needs to be butted up? Who needs to be made happy? You already have a daughter, don't you? She is yours, right? I think she's yours. Yeah, she is yours. You have a daughter. You don't need another one, God damn it. Um, okay. Who needs to be made more happy? Not really anybody. Everybody's pretty much okay. Except the Countess. But she can go to hell. Oh, I was looking into a different person. You are my daughter. Here, yeah, be happy. Nice. Okay. So we're well on our way to making that, uh, that goal of amassing wealth. I hope we make it. Oh, hello. Ah, that's right, you like me now, because I legitimized your child. I acknowledge that indeed, we did tumble in the hay. I am content. Princess Emma loves Count William's philosophy. Well, it would, yes. Princess Emma feels less stressed. I have feared for her sanity. She has not been herself lately to help ease her problems and made her join me in the garden to relax and just talk about whatever she needed to talk about. Cool. How old is she, actually? Because she could quite easily just keep pumping out children. That would be worrying. If he married her and then lived into his 80s and was just keep, just kept having children. She's only 32. He's no longer my spy master. That is unfortunate. But we didn't lose that much from here. Okay, that's good. Spy master. Walter, the mayor of Khan. 
A shit spy master is better than having no spy master. Son was born to Richard de Brion and Emma de Harcourt, named Hamelin. He is my grandson. That's nice. Um, will you... No. You would add exactly 1% and you won't join simply because of base reluctance. Not because of moral qualms, though. That's interesting. You won't join because she's your mother. That's fine. Wow. This has been a very interesting game already. We're barely two and a bit hours in. This is going to be a very, very good Let's Play series. I can just feel it. Come on. Princess Cecilia. Who? Who's she? A, a daughter of William the Conqueror. Okay, right. Um... Trying to convince the merchant to invest in one of her ideas for several weeks, but he had always refused until today. The idea was actually quite good, but I dared not give her the coins myself. Instead, I'd given the merchant the coins he needed, and told him to pretend to be convinced, and then invest in the... <laughs> uh, I hope this will keep her happy and occupied. I take it that she's wasting a lot of money. Oh dear. How unfortunate for King William. Though I wish he'd stop trying to kill me. Countess something of Tyrone. What? You, what? Scottish war for Duke Mac Canung. Oh, it's some Scottish thing. King Malcolm Ironside. That's badass. He's gonna die though. Um, what was I doing? I do not recall. Mayor Walter is no longer spun. <laughs> hey! These guys just drop like flies. Hey, I got one decent. Nice. Go, study. Um, right, what was I doing? Would you join me? You would, if I gave you stuff. How about you become the cupbearer? Then would you join me? No, you still would not. What if I gave you 20 bucks? I could do that, but I won't at the moment, actually. We'll reach that goal first. Damn, what was I doing? I can't even remember now. I believe I was hoping she would die. Oh, that's right. I was checking to see if anyone backed... Yeah. Stop it. You are my wife. I'd request a divorce, but I can't, because I don't have enough piety. William, I'm looking at you. The old wound has finally healed. My god, he just keeps... He just keeps trucking. This guy will never die. He'll be immortal. He's a vampire. Scottish War. King Malcolm won. What did, what did he win? Oh, he won bits of... That's interesting. Bits of Ireland. Curiouser and curiouser. Hmm. And for some reason the frame rate is tanking a little bit. Come on, stop it. There we go. William de Harcourt is now of legal age. He became a Midas Touched. But he's unlanded. That basically just means that he loses you a little bit of prestige, but that's okay. That's not really important. What is important is that now we can marry him off. Hopefully we can marry him to somebody of... Oh my god! Jesus! That's brilliant. Wow. Wow, 25. Damn. Um. Right, so anyway, as I was saying, hopefully we can marry him off to somebody who will compliment him very well. So we'll go for high stewardship. You heir to anything? No. That's good. 
It's a plus for you. 